what do I expect from this showcase? Well, they pretty much announced what they'll be showing. It's going to be Monster Hunter Rise, Resident Evil 4 Remake, the Exosuit um, Dinosaur um, slash Left 4 Dead game, right? That game, which I looks pretty cool. And I think a Mega Man collection or something like that. They announced it on Twitter. Let me actually tune in to Capcom Spotlight on March 9th for news on Resident Evil 4 Exo Primal. That's what it's called. Monster Hunter Rise, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection, and Ghost trick phantom detective okay so pretty much all all that right so all the thing i'm looking forward to is basically resident evil 4 remake which pretty much they're gonna announce that we're gonna get a demo today that's pretty much been all the, the hype surrounding the showcase right i'm um, honestly i don't think you should show any more resident evil 4 stuff because you know i'm already sold on it i'm ready for that game I'm pretty sure a lot of people are ready, right? It's looking very promising, so I'm I'm happy. The other thing I guess I'm interested in is Exo Primo. Um, me and my friends try to play the beta, um, but we couldn't. So, but hopefully they'll announce another beta, or maybe a demo or something, maybe a release date. Because I actually am excited for Exo Primo. Uh, that game actually looks fun. It's just the Left 4 Dead game, which is uh, dinosaurs and exosuits. And I'm just all for it. Just give it to me. The one thing I'm kind of hoping for, but I know we're not going to get whatsoever is uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. Any news on that? I I doubt it. I, I, that's just one thing I'm kind of hoping for, but we're not going to get it. I know 100% we're not going to get it. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. RE8 is going on the Switch? How is that? How? like what can the switch ha the switch cannot handle that what the re games with the re engine going on the switch what that's i, I didn't was this announced i have no idea <laughs> i'm not expecting anything big Mega Man Battle Network Legacy. I don't care for this. I'm not really that much of a big of a big Mega Man fan. I played those games, but you know, this uninterests me. A new era of fighting games is upon us. Oh my God! Shut up! Shut up! If it's just like announcing that it's is the latest edition of that it's coming June 6th, June 6th, or June 2nd, I swear to God. In addition to fighting ground, where the pinnacle of genre-defining battles, we already place. know uh, new characters, less characters, something. Tour, come on, make it, make it, come on, mode, just give it to me. Pub, an online social space reminiscent yes. of arcades. There are a number of this is so cool, dude. Just fighting. It's so cool. Today, I need so much shit for the final color or like single-player content, dude. That's so good. Please enjoy this video. Okay. Akuma, come on, give it to me. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need more gameplay, I guess, you know? Dude, Kami looks so good, dude. Mm, but damn, that takedown, Kami. Please come and grab me, Kami. Yeah, so Kemi's... Mm. Alright. God damn, Capcom! Hey, it's the boy, Zangief. Yo, let's go. Mm. Oh, that's so good. I'm probably gonna just use the commentary, like... The commentary, like, on, like, once or twice, because I feel like it's a little distracting. I mean, it's cool to have it. Don't get me wrong. But most likely, I'll just have it off. Damn! Oh, carry him. <laughs> Is that really it? It's just a commentary announcement. Oh, just, please don't. Please, come on. Akuma. Ah, uh, I'm going a little annoyed. I can ask. Hey, the Dante color. It's cool. Cool. It's a guy. It's not really it. The commentary thing is cool. Like, it's pretty cool. But I'm most likely not gonna really gonna be using it that much. That's cool. Turn on rally support and the commentators will cheer you on. Street Fighter 6 launches on PlayStation 5. Cool, because I don't want them to commentate the entire match, right? But if you could customize specific stuff, I think that's cool. I think I'll have it on. Pre-orders are now available, hey, along with a color. limited number of pre-order bonus- When he's not voice acted by the actual actor. <laughs> it's cool. cool. <laughs> we'll have more street- Um, sad. 
why not just announce it now? I mean, we got like two months left, Capcom but still. Capcom Pro Tour 2023 invites players around the world to compete to be the best. Right. Dude, the price pull, dude, We're is crazy, dude. Season, it is crazy. To celebrate the game's release, there will be a special prize package this season. The first place winner of Capcom Cup it's will crazy. receive one million dollars. What the, the hell? Prize pool for the season that is crazy, dude. <sighs> like that is crazy to think about, dude. Next, we'd like to share some exciting It's so Capcom crazy, news. but I love it. It's so cool, dude. It's so cool. Capcom but it's still crazy to really think about a million dollars. Hey, let's go. Give me the dinosaurs. So they're available in 2023. They plan on releasing it this year, huh? In this team-based action game, players suit up as exo fighters who work for the IBS Corporation. Dude. <laughs> Use a variety of unique exosuits and rigs to fit your playstyle and Ooh, yo, Dragon Punch, dude, that was cool. Dino Survival. Let's take a look at the latest trailer. We have some surprises in store, so be sure to watch to the end. Okay. Yeah, this game looks fun. In every war game, Ace really is getting pulled back three years into the past. Back to 2014, right before the Stradivader fails. Huh. You're a time traveler. Kept this is no random outbreak. Leviathan is intentionally summoning them as cannon fodder for the war game. But why? why These suits look cool. I hope this soundtrack is not copyrighted. <laughs> okay, story looks to be very, very intense. <laughs> Yo, damn the dude. God damn. <laughs> Got some skates. That's cool. Oh, yeah, you could be Ghost Rider, right? How many classes of mecha suits are there? Yeah, Ghost Rider, that's so sick. Yo, I'm someone that's approaching. <laughs> okay, I know which one I'm gonna get. <laughs> I know which suit I'm gonna rock with. <laughs> oh shit, dude. I honestly don't care for the story, I just hope the gameplay is fun. <laughs> July 14th. Oh! Ooh, okay. Another Exo Fighter recruit, right? Right after Welcome to IBS. Street Fighter 6, huh? Open beta, March 17. Mmm, let's go. Cross platforms, open beta. Hell yeah, dude. Open beta. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm excited. Yes, I was kind of hoping they'll announce an another beta. And they did. Limited time survival pass. Uh, battle pass? I mean it's not kind of, yo, I'm so much approaching. Yo, can we have Virgil colors? <laughs> can we have Virgil colors? They have a battle pass. That's to be expected. I mean, at this point, like any like live server games is gonna have like battle pass and stuff like that. So you know, I'm not really surprised. It's kind of like the what standard in these type of games now. And a <laughs> like they're not, they're not calling, calling it a battle pass, a gear, survival pass. Access to it's different. Rewards. Very different. 19 exosuit skins and 10 weapon skins. Okay, so, okay, so that answers my question on if you can customize the exosuit. I guess it's just like skins. The survival pass season one premium tier you can't customize like, time bonus. like specific parts. It's just full on skins. Okay. So we get some like Capcom skins from different games. We got a Virgil costume the for the Samurai, <laughs> please. All right, so they're saving the big thing, which is RE4 Remake uh, at the end. And I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Hey, Monster Hunter Rise. Now this is on the PlayStation 5. I think I might get it. Maybe. I don't know. The only thing I remember is when I played Monster Hunter World, I got so addicted to that game. Like, I got really addicted. Like, Monster Hunter was the only game I've been, I played. Uh, when it was a, when it got released and at that time when Monster Hunter World came out I was in college and I was kind of missing some of the homework I didn't do any of the homework for any of my classes because of Monster Hunter World So that's how bad it was. I was really irresponsible with that shit. So <laughs> I think the only time I'll get back into Monster Hunter again is if any of my boys um, Wants to play Monster Hunter with me or ask me to join them, right? I probably will uh, get back into it but anytime soon. I, I don't think I'll get back into it. <laughs> Re. On to our next topic, we have news about the Resident Evil series. Hey, I guess seen Resident Evil Four and Re Verse. Oh, oh, it's from the movie. 
from the new movie, Leon. Do Chris... <laughs> We got liquors on the water. Yo. Where's Jill? Wait, is this the same trailer? I don't know. Evil Death Island. I think this is the same trailer. Yeah, it's the same trailer. What why the yep. and, and they're the keeping the video, her RE three Resident Evil RE three appearance released this summer. Is that it? <laughs> God damn it. Survival <laughs> is just the beginning. Resident Evil 4 launches soon. Yes, sir. So excited for this game. Did they fix Leah's? Um, I mean, did they fix Ada's voice actor? Hello, everyone. The last time I heard her, she sounded not that good. Maybe that was just in the trailer. Maybe in the actual game show, sound better. But I don't know. Re4 fans who are excited for the game's release. This game is a remake of the original, which was released in 2005. It takes place six years after the Raccoon City incident and depicts federal agent Leon S. Kennedy as he fights to survive. Look at the engine. So good. Our goal is to create a fresh yet familiar experience. We've preserved the core of the original game and added on again. Oh my god! <laughs> Storyline. re 4s release date is just around the corner, mm -hmm. but we have a special announcement prepared for you today. Let's Please be check expected, out this video. right? Here we go. Demo. These guys don't quit. Cool. No fucking way. The rival is just the beginning. Ooh. Chainsaw demo. Cool. That's to be expected, right? I mean, everybody on Twitter already knew this was coming. It sucks that it's still on the PS4. I wish it was just optimized for just the PlayStation 5. But, so, but it still looks good. It looks good. Yeah, that was that was it pretty much before RE4, a demo. I mean, we all pretty much knew that's what it was going to be, right? That's what looks so weird. Ugh. I'm excited for Luis to be with us in sections that he wasn't in, in the original. So I'm excited for that part. I really am. And finally, we have a message about the Capcom publisher sale. Oh, uh, that's I mean, Resident Evil series. I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's Evil pretty pretty cool. Monster I Hunter guess Rise. you know. We're guessing that'll be like around Thanks E3 or so. See you next time. Yeah, yeah, it's already you know, it's, you know, it's, you know. Honestly, I think this was a really not that good showcase to be honest because the only big things were RE4 and EXO Primal to be honest. Uh, they did show Street Fighter 6 but nothing that interesting you know that nothing worth showing to be in my honest opinion like some of the stuff were like eh it was it was a pretty bad showcase I'm not gonna lie I mean it's all right it was okay. I mean it's cool that we got an open beta for uh, EXO Primal I'll be definitely be checking that, checking that out with the boys. But overall, this showcase, you know, eh, I could, if I just missed the showcase, I would have not missed anything. I think all the big stuff would have been like shown on Twitter or something, you know, not not that much good stuff to be honest. It's all right.